had a friend or a loved one diagnosed with an illness or in the hospital, you've probably used Caring Bridge. After 20 years of connecting people, the founder of Caring Bridge is passing the torch. Sana Maring is stepping away from the nonprofit she started. She's retiring. It's her commitment to the Caring Bridge cause that makes her a Minnesotan to meet. It's a website that has a wingspan that has crossed hundreds of countries worldwide. In 1997, Friends of Caring Bridge founder Sana Maring gave birth to a baby girl, and that same night, the first Caring Bridge website was born. Good friends of mine had a very premature baby, and they asked me to let people know what was going on. And as I made two phone calls, I thought, there's got to be a better way. And that night, the night their baby Bridget was born, the first Caring Bridge site was born, and instantly, helped everyone know what was going on, but the wow was this connection that we all had through that website. Baby Bridget only lived for nine days, a heartbreaking loss. After the baby's death, Sana, a longtime Egan resident at the time, was running a web design company, but she soon realized this was her calling. I thought, this is so important when you're going through this health journey. My mom was a nurse, so throughout my whole childhood, I was exposed to kind of that health care system. And I knew how important it was to have the friends and family there. Sana spent her spare time keeping the website up and running, and donations began to trickle in. I had unsolicited donations sent to me, and that was kind of the eureka moment of this can and should be a nonprofit. Now 90% of their funding comes from donations. In 2002, Caring Bridge became a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Today, Maring says she's proud of the progress her team has accomplished to give loved ones a centralized health update. Google wasn't even around, so this, to see the 20 years of what's changed, not only in technology, but just as we as a society connect, it's been just amazing. According to the company's website, since 1997, more than half a million Caring Bridge websites have been created. How has social media helped Caring Bridge? The first thing I heard was, I would never go online to share anything. Well, think about that 20 years later. We share a lot of information online. In fact, we seek it out to share information online. That is like night and day. Every six minutes, a new Caring Bridge site is created, and Maring calls it an integral tool to keeping family and friends in the loop. It's almost vital that Caring Bridge continues to have this positive, single-use system that people can come together and have a positive, uplifting experience. It's more important today than ever. One in nine people in the U.S. has used Caring Bridge. Maring told me she loves traveling the country and hearing people's Caring Bridge stories at the airport, coffee shops, pretty much everywhere she goes. Someone is always telling her, oh, yes, I've used the website. I can't believe you started it. And she officially leaves her post this summer. She may be retiring, but she plans to still do consulting on the side. Well, she has a lot of stories to share. I mean, obviously, the leadership standpoint of taking this thing that was just her idea. But then she has been on the front edge of technology. Yes. I mean, you, you think about Facebook and, and, and CaringBridge, in a way, is, is similar, but yet secure for a hospital. And what's great about the things. website is it's not like when you're using it, ads are popping up all over the place mm -hmm. because it's a nonprofit. They it's very stay away from that. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for people who are grieving. Very so respectful. the website is celebrating 20 years with stories from over the years. And if you have a story about how Caring Bridge has helped you or your family or had an impact on your life, please let them know.